Hey, I'm Red, and today I'm gonna show you how to take that hard saw wave sound that Mr. Rage by Trippy Red has and use it to make better beats of your own. I'll also give you some free loops if you stick to the end. With that said, let's begin. Okay, Mr. Rage's melody has four main elements, and those are a saw wave pad, bass line, lead melody, and this wobble thing. If this sounds a little off, it's because the original melody on Mr. Rage is reversed. So if you take the sounds I just showed you and reverse them, this is what that sounds like. First, let's break down the pad. For the sound selection on this part, I'll be using the basic saw pad on Xpand 2. But you can simply use a saw wave preset on one of the FL stock plugins, like in Harmless, for example. Now, I know this may look scary at first, like what is even going on here? But let me break this down for you step by step and you'll see that it's actually not that hard at all. Okay, so the first thing I see here is that even though there are a ton of notes, a bunch of those simply are copied octaves, meaning that the same note is being played many times just in different octaves. Like here, for example, this is an F being played three times, here, here, and here. Or this C, this C is also being played three times, here, here, and here. Why would you do this? Why would you play the same note so many times? Well, let me answer that later. For now, let's concentrate on the actually different notes. For that, first let me erase the octaves, and here it is. These are the only non-octaves notes in the whole progression. So in here, we should be able to find the chords. Usually what you do is assume the first note is the root. That means the first note of a chord. But this doesn't really look like a chord, does it? The space between notes is just way too big. So let's try switching octaves. If we move this one up an octave, the space between notes becomes much smaller. But this still kinda doesn't look like a chord. Usually chords have either two or three notes in between them, making a major or a minor third. But this one only has one. This can't be a third of any kind with one note in between. And that's because it isn't. This is known as a suspended chord, more specifically a sus4 chord. This type of chords don't have thirds in between, but fourths. I mean, look at this, from here to here, you would have a second, and from here to here, you would have a third. So that means that from here to here, you have a fourth. This is what a regular C minor would sound like. And this is what a C4 sounds like. Can you hear the difference? In music, we use suspended chords to either smooth out a chord progression or to add tension to it. In this case, I believe it's doing both. Just listen to the progression without the suspended chord. And now listen to it with the suspended chord. It just doesn't sound right without this little note up here. So there's tip number one. Whenever your chord progression sounds harsh, instead of switching the chord, try to move the third up or down one note. Now this chord is simply a G-sharp minor without the third. You can clearly see the root and the fifth are there. But if that's the case, then what is this note doing up here? This is simply a seventh note. Seventh chords are chords with not three, but four notes. We use seventh chords because they make a chord sound fuller and nicer. Just listen to the progression without the seven. And now with it. It simply makes the progression sound fuller. So there's tip number two. Use seventh chords for a prettier sound. Lastly, here we have a regular old C minor and another suspension. In this case, it's an A sharp sus4. You already know what a suspended chord does, so I won't bore you with the details. Let's move on. The last thing I want to mention about this progression is the lower notes. This is the oldest trick in hip hop beats. Like the sevenths, we use octaves to give a fuller sound. The difference is that a seventh also makes the chord prettier, while octaves only make it Fuller. Listen to it without the octaves. And now with them.
So that's tip number three. Use octaves to make the chords sound fuller. Oh, and I almost forgot, look at this progression. The second and the fourth chords are a bit to the left. This is a trick to give your chords more of an energetic vibe. Usually putting this two a bit too late makes the progression more emotional and putting them a bit too early makes it more energetic. So that's tip four. Move second and fourth chords a bit to the left for a more energetic sound. Now we can move on. I'll break this down quick, don't worry, this is much simpler than the massive chord progression. For the sound selection on this part, I'll be using the Spooky Lead on Citrus, which is a stock plugin. Here we only have four downbeat notes, meaning notes on the downbeat. Uh, that's all the important notes. These two are a bit early, but that's just because the chords are early as well. These other notes are simply passing notes, added to make the transitions from note to note more interesting. These notes are not passing notes, meaning they are a part of our chords. This one is the seventh of this chord, this one is also the seventh, this is the fifth, and this one's the third. So all of these notes are inside our chords. So there's tip number five. At a top melody, make sure the downbeat notes are not passing notes. And with that, we're very close to the end. Now all that's left is to add a wobble sound at the end of the bass notes. That wobble is from the preset beat wobbly on harmless, by the way. And a bass on the bass notes. And done! That's how to make a hard saw wave melody like Mr. the Rage by Trippy Red. Before I play you the final melody, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more of this, subscribe, and as always, see ya!